Hi everyone, I am A. Praveen, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Information Technology, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So dear students, uh, today we will discuss about the life cycle of the cloud computing. <coughs> as we know uh, from our earlier semester subjects, we have the life cycle of a process, right? where the program uh, process is nothing but the program under execution. right? So the program is nothing but a piece of software. So as uh, the cloud computing, the cloud services are being implemented in the form of the program, where the cloud computing even have uh, the life cycle to be taken into consideration, right? From where actually uh, the cycle of the cloud starts and uh, where it will ends. Okay. So here we have a set of steps which will detail about. Uh, the life cycle of the cloud computing and this is the agenda of our today's class. So uh, here we have the first step of the life cycle of the cloud computing, one being define the purpose of the cloud computing. So we need to understand the requirements of the business and determine what type of application to run on the cloud. So first of all, we need to understand whether we can go for the cloud environment or not. right? So if you want to go, go for the cloud environment, then what are the requirements which made us to move on to the cloud environments? As we have seen uh, the different deployment models and three deployment models, three service models. So according to our business requirement, which particular model fits our business requirement? Okay. So here we have uh, the public, private and hybrid cloud being now models existing in the deployment fashion and uh, when coming to the point of the service models we have infrastructure as a service software as a service and platform as a service okay so which uh, requirement will fulfill uh, which particular model will suit our business requirement to go for so for any business we need to understand the requirements of the business and need to determine what type of application to run on the cloud whether you want to run the application on the cloud basing on the complexity of the application okay whether we want to make use of the application as a service or we want to deploy our application on the platform or we want to develop the application on uh, the cloud right so according to this uh, uh, the cloud life cycle uh, will be supporting us to make use of the cloud environment so better understanding of the purpose of using the cloud is very important for any purpose or for any project in a particular organization so the first step is defining the purpose and coming to the point of the next one is define the hardware uh, which is necessity for uh, setting up the cloud right uh, what sort of hardware is required for your application to run is the very important because we cannot compromise on the hardware part just simply uh, picking up few hardware resources and uh, if our application is not supporting the hardware which is of no use so defining the hardware just like we have the software requirement specification or sdlc cycle we have the various phases in a similar way we need to define the hardware in advance uh, to make use of this so choose a compute service that will provide the right support where uh, we can resize the compute capacity in the cloud to run application program so we need to select here uh, any of the compute services which are going to support our application and that service should be in such a way that it should be resizable service where it should expand and it should contract okay as per the requirements of the application because suppose if you take an example of a particular application right where people keep on accessing that application and on hourly basis uh, the number of users uh, connecting to that application will increase. So at that point of time, uh, it should be given a provision to resize that one, to expand so that uh, the number of users can easily access the service being provided 
uh, with the help of that application right so and uh, as per the complexity of the application uh, it should be in a position where it can run with ease and provide the results uh, with good performance okay the turn the total turn around time we can say the time when we click uh, the fill some application and submit the button and waiting for the response how quick the application is what is the time taken for an application to fill and to submit and waiting for the response from that application is the total turn around time we can say the latency even okay so th this is uh, defining the hardware where the hardware uh, for the cloud are here uh, the services being provisioned are ec2 amazon ec2 lambda and elastic container service are the three provisions for providing the cloud environments in this context next the next one is uh, defining the storage where the first one we have seen define the purpose next we have defined the hardware and now the third one it is define the storage so choose a storage service where you can backup and archive your data over the internet so we need to select the storage of the data storage service in such a way where we can store our data relating to that application on the cloud right so here the services being provisioned are uh, s3 efs and glacier are the three storage services being provisioned in order to store uh, the data and uh, where we can even back up the data and uh, on this particular with the help of these services and can be provisioned for the user even and uh, it can be accessible from anywhere anytime as uh, we have already seen that is one of the nature of the cloud or characteristics of the cloud computing okay where we can easily access and the next one being uh, defining the network where here the network uh, that securely delivers data videos application etc with low latency and high transfer speed so because network plays a vital role in the cloud environment because any user who want to access any sort of resource on the cloud the network is the medium for communication between the user and the provider the cloud service uh, customers users are the cloud providers or vendors we can say right so in order to access the videos and the data and the applications which have been stored on the cloud here it should be so perfect that it should have low latency and high transfer speed low latency in the sense so latency speaks about the time by which we click on a particular application or submit the requirement for a service for a particular application and time it takes to deliver us that particular service which is called as the total turn around time uh, for provisioning that resource the time taken for it to uh, provide the service what we are requesting for with high transfer speed is a must okay so the services related to the network here we have are the vpc root s3 and direct connect are the three uh, network service uh, network services being provisioned with the help of cloud so this is the fourth step where we have seen the first being uh, defining the purpose defining the hardware defining the storage and next the fourth one being defining the network what we have seen and coming to the point of the next one uh, define the security is the next step where the set up your security service which enables services for uh, user authentication of limiting access to a certain set of users on uh, aws resources or any cloud here we are taking aws as an example so we are uh, talking in context of the aws it might be any of the cloud resource so we can go with the microsoft we can go with ibm or vmware any sort of thing so as we are talking about here the security services being where uh, suppose uh, i want to connect to a particular cloud uh, where i am working on a project i have a set of people who are working in that particular project where each user will be provisioned with a set of authentications and a separate instance 
or space is being provided provisioned on the cloud where each user has uh, his own limitation in accessing that particular service where the no other users with some other credentials cannot access or uh, intervene in this particular area so people from different project cannot access uh, the other instance on the cloud where they are confined only to their project instance region and not to the other one so this is a very very important point in the life cycle of the cloud where provisioning of the security so here security service and the limiting access to a certain set of uh, users is very important because the other users should not access uh, the information related to this particular one so the services security services being provided are iam kms and the cognito are the three security services being provisioned so this is the next step what we have seen the first one being uh, uh, the, defining the purpose defining the hardware storage network and uh, the fifth one being the security service so let us move on to the next one uh, defining the management processes and tools so because uh, for a cloud environment to run uh, here we have uh, the management who is uh, over and above uh, monitoring the functioning of uh, the cloud uh, of a particular organization uh, where you can have the complete control on your cloud environment by defining the management tools which monitor aws resources and the customer applications running on aws platform so here uh, who are the cloud users being uh, consuming the more amount of resources or which project being uh, consuming more amount of resources or resources being uh, equally being distributed among all the cloud users of that particular organization and for this sake here we have a tool called as uh, the defining the management processes and tools and the tools being the cloud watch uh, auto scaling and cloud formation are the three important uh, services being provisioned in the cloud uh, life cycle uh, when we select the management processes and tools because for any project here we have the project manager who is going to monitor the project in the similar way we have uh, the cloud management who will be looking after the services of the cloud watch auto scaling and cloud formation next next one is uh, testing the process uh, where here verify the process using aws developer tools where we can build test and deploy uh, uh, the code quickly okay where and the services being provisioned here are the code star code build and code pipeline where the people with the different requirements uh, might develop the application and they can deploy the application just like suppose if you take an example of uh, the play stores what have been av available on our mobiles one being the play store the other one being the i store where the users can happily develop the application and make use of these platforms and they can deploy the applications on these stores and they can make it available for the users for accessing them where the users can uh, download those particular apps install and make use of them so this is about uh, the deployment of the applications on the cloud and the services being provisioned here are the code star code build and code pipeline are uh, the cloud services for testing the application on the cloud next uh, next one is the analytics where uh, analysis and visualization of the data will happen which are nothing but the analytical services where we can start querying the data instantly and get results right just like as we have uh, the data warehouse uh, which is nothing but online analytical processing of the data where uh, users can uh, write different queries uh, to the data warehouse or the database we can say uh, with the help of any of the olap tools and uh, can query the data warehouse for getting the uh, results 
in the similar way we have uh, the analytics the data analytics we can say for this one we have the analytical tools for querying the uh, cloud uh, for retrieving the required uh, reports of the data for the user so the services being provisioned here are uh, athena emr and cloud search are the three different types of uh, cloud services uh, in the context of the uh, analytics for retrieving uh, the data upon querying the data instantly and getting the results so th this is uh, the data analytics part so uh, these are the different steps what we have seen in the life cycle of the cloud computing the first one being the purpose of the cloud hardware the next step is the hardware next is the storage next one being the network next one being the security and next one being the management processes and tools next one being the testing and analytics so here we have uh, nearly eight different uh, steps eight to nine different uh, steps in the life cycle of the cloud computing so this is about the life cycle of cloud computing thank you thank you so much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates